Hello, my name is Wing Yen, and this is my teammate Vadim. We are seniors from the Purdue University EC department, representing the System on Chip Extension Technologies team, also known as Socket. Our team designs, integrates, and fabricates custom hardware modules into a system on chip. And our goal for the effort challenge is to design a machine learning accelerator and integrate it with our RISC-V platform. So machine learning requires intensive computational capabilities and having a hardware accelerator would greatly improve it. An on-chip accelerator would enable proven software strategies to work on embedded systems, improving energy efficiencies, security, and reliability. The ability to analyze raw data and make decisions locally means that only meaningful data gets transmitted. And this is important because RF transmission takes up a great fraction of energy consumption on a device. The reduction of data transmission would also improve device security because a, de because a device that is less reliant on the network would greatly reduce its attack surface. So not only will the embedded system do better at its task, its improved reliability through its onboard self-monitoring system could potentially detect faults and modify its behavior preemptively. So our SOC can have multiple applications, the first of which is analyzing a one-dimensional data stream such as accelerometer data or audio data. If we're analyzing accelerometer data, we could then look at vibrations in the system and detect faults in it, such as those caused by fatigue. So this could be done in either a vehicle or a building. And this is really important because that would allow a system to have corrective action against damage. On the other hand, if we're analyzing audio data, this would allow voice recognition, which has applications in security and controls. We can even analyze seismic data to classify events that we've noticed in the Earth that are either natural or caused by humans. On the other hand, we can also analyze two-dimensional data, such as those from images. And this is also very beneficial. For instance, if we were to analyze large images from sensors, this would be useful because now a system doesn't have to send vast amounts of data all the way back to a base. Instead, it can just classify the images and process things locally. On the other hand, if camera sensors are poor and have noisy data, we can still extract meaningful information from them. This is because machine learning in general can still extract good information from noisy data. And furthermore, it's very important for a system to be able to look around in a dangerous situation where communication might be intermittent or even non-existent or just dangerous to participate in. Because of this, this would be a very strong application as well. So we want to make sure that our system is modular, programmable, and effective. In order to do this, we're basing our deep learning architecture off NVIDIA's NVDLA architecture. Another reason for this is that using this established system would allow us to use existing software tool chains that would allow development of applications for the system to be a lot more effective and quick. Now, the way we plan to demonstrate our, the functionality of our device is to create a truss with various flaws in it and have our machine learning accelerator identify where it's located. And that would demonstrate the functionality of the network and that it can perform meaningful uh, calculations. Our team, Socket, has 17 undergraduate students, five graduate students, and we have advisors, Professor Dr. Johnson and Dr. Swaby. We also have support from Professors Dr. Rogers, Dr. Burmel, and Dr. Raghunathan. Because of this, we have extensive knowledge in the fields of VLSI, chip verification, computer architecture, and machine learning. In addition to support from faculty, we also have support from the Indiana Innovation Institute, or IN3's Azure program. We have successfully produced SOCs in the past, and we're very excited to participate in the AppWorks Challenge, explore the possibilities that we can get from the 14 nanometer pro um, fabrication process and advance engineering further. Thank you.